Hi, I'm Luke Gingrich, and today I have Chloe with me here to help me do a little video for my sponsor, Weaver Leather, on how to integrate Liberty work into other aspects of your riding. So what I'm gonna be using today with her is showing you our Liberty circles and how a couple different aspects of that can translate over into when we are riding and how they can benefit each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here on the circle. The first thing I wanna show you here the first thing I want to show you here is as she's going around me here if you'll notice my left whip here is up here right behind her shoulder in a very similar position to where my inside leg would be when I'm riding if I want to as we're going on a circle whether it's on the ground here or when I'm riding if I want to put her in that nice C shape in her body from her nose to her tail and ask her to lift that shoulder and bend her rib cage and be soft through her neck all the way back through her rib cage. I can use this whip right here and teach her when I put some pressure here. If you'll notice, if I put a little more pressure, she bends a little bit more. So I'll take the ground and then I can go when I'm ready to ride her and translate that cue over to my leg, right? So I'm using using this whip right about in this area right here. So when I'm riding, I'll have my cinch and I'll use my leg right behind my cinch there. And when I apply pressure there, if you see her lift that shoulder, which makes her want to naturally bend her neck to the inside there, and that picks her rib cage up and helps her move, move better and use herself better. So that's the first thing. The other thing is how we can use my verbal cues for the different gates within, when we're on the circle, so different speed and how I can translate those over. So again here, Chloe, get her started here. So right now we're just at the walk. If I wanna go up a speed, I can ask her here, Chloe, trot. So it's the word there, and then I will also, I can use the cluck to ask for the trot here. If I wanna go up again here, Canter. And she picked right up on that there. If I want to come down, trot. Good girl. Walk. Good. And I'll go ahead and let her stop there. So you can see. She understands all of those really well at the point where she's at now. So in the beginning, obviously, she's got not going to know exactly what each of those words mean, right? But I can use the word and then I can show her what I'm asking for with my energy and my body language on the ground here and show her that answer until she gets consistent with that here. Then when I go to ride her, it's not an entirely new concept. I can use that familiar verbal cue and then translate that over under saddle as well there. So. That is all the time we have for today. Um, hopefully in future videos we can cover um, some more topics under saddle, go into a little more depth with that. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time.